Hi everyone, I want to see if we give ChatGPT a data set and whether it could analyze it for us, specifically doing a student's paired t-test and get the same p-value I got, which is 0.01. So you can see my data set right here. I've got my p-value, which is right there. I'll test that again in Python later so you can see. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this into a text file. And I have a pre-made request, as you can see, and basically giving it some instructions on what to do, telling it it's tab delimited uh, and to give me the p-value and telling it I don't want code. So I'm going to highlight, I'm going to copy, I'm going to go ahead and put into the chat, and then hopefully we'll see what happens. So there we go. Okay, giving me some instructions, that's expected. Okay, the differences look good just by glancing. Okay, we're looking at the T distribution, hmm. Okay, oh, 0 0.1, that's not right. I had 0 0.01, a bit of a difference there. So I don't know what happened, but let's see. Okay, <laughs> let's see what it says. Ha, it apologized, that's awesome. Okay, so at least it acknowledged it. Let's see what it does now. pretty much spoon feeding it, so I'd be surprised if it messed up. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be 0 0.01. Okay, you got the same thing I did. All right, I'm gonna change things up a little bit here. I have that same data set here. This time it's in comma, delimited format, and I want it to get the mean and the median. So there's my description up there that I'm gonna give it. Putting everything all together, just like before, we're gonna copy and paste it. And right here, don't forget this, this is what the answer should be, but this will be to the side, so you'll be able to see it. All right, so I'm gonna enter it. It's already starting. Pulling this back up and moving it to the side. And let's see if we get the right mean and median. Okay, so group one age. It got the median right, but it looks like the mean is just slightly off. Should be 33.1, not 33.3. Okay, so we're gonna have to fix that. So let's say group one age is slightly wrong. Let's just see, let's be kind of general. So it's recalculating mean for <laughs> group one age, 33.2, no, close, but the median's still 34, <sighs> Jeez. Okay, let's just tell it like we did before. Thirty-three point one median should be thirty-four. Now let's look at group two age. Thirty-one point three, no. Median thirty-two. No, it should be thirty-one. Oh boy. All right, let's go ahead and try to let ChatGPT redeem itself. I have the same data set here. It's comma delimited. I'm gonna to try to get the t-test and the means for those two fields. Let's just see if we can at least get that in Python code. All right, here we go. Telling it that I want to put the data in the data frame. Let's see, it's making me read from a CSV. That's fine, that's not exactly what I asked, but that's all right. I'll take it as long as it works. Okay. All right, so that's the full code. Let's grab it, let's open this here. I'm using Visual Studio. And I believe I call this t-tests. We'll find out. Okay, let's compare that to what I had here. All right, so our p-value matches up, that's great. And let's see, 33.1, 33.1, 31.4, 31.4. 
Hey, that wasn't too bad. At least I got this right. Just to be thorough, I went ahead and got the median too, just because I already had it here from before. And as you can see there, 34, 34, 31, and 31. So, yeah, turns out it did okay when it gave us some code. But anyway, play around with it and let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, always happy to answer. Otherwise, thanks for watching and subscribing and take care.